it is the 17th of April 2020. I have been in self-isolation for a month. I have not seen my boyfriend. My mum has moved to the room above the garage that I can see just out my window. We have been in lockdown for almost a month in the UK owing to novel coronavirus COVID-19. I wanted to film this video as a kind of time capsule. There are many people who are working on the front lines, many of whom don't have choice in the matter, owing to financial reasons, who are having a really, really scary time of it. Whereas I'm very lucky, I have been able to stay with my parents, shelter in place in a village in Suffolk. I thought I would give you an update as to what's going on here and then I'm going to create some extra work for future me. I have some questions from my point of view now that I want to go back to when this all blows over, that um, future that everyone keeps thinking about and talking about but no one knows when it's going to happen or even what it's going to look like. Now, this is the situation that we I suppose as a family find ourselves in. So on the, I think it was the 16th of March, I had been planning to move out of London on the 28th, but we could see which way the wind was blowing. It was getting more and more dangerous. So I went with a van to get my stuff from London and move back into my parents' house. And at that point I said goodbye to Alex, which was really hard because I didn't know when I was gonna see him again. I still don't. At the moment it's me, my brother and my dad in the house. Matthew is also type 1 diabetic. I'm type 1 diabetic. So we've been told, although I'm not really sure whether it is so much for us as it is for type 2s, um, that we are at high risk. Which means that apart from to go for a walk to the nature reserve, which is about three quarters of a mile up the village, kind of do a loop, I have not been out. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty angry about a lot of things right now, but that's, um, yeah. I've been avoiding ordering things. I run out of eyeliner. So this is um, eyeshadow. But I'm trying to avoid making anyone do any unnecessary packing contact in that regard. You know, I can live without eyeliner for a little while. My mum, who takes immunosuppressants and who has an autoimmune lung condition is living above our garage and that's really hard both for her she feels like a prisoner in her own house she can't be inside with my dad because he goes out to get the shopping we're kind of all keeping at least a meter away from each other and the only time we get to see mum's when we're in the garden and it's just weird trying to keep myself busy dad's still working matthew's back from university mum's still working we're incredibly lucky that dad can go out and get food, we can still get our prescriptions. I spend a lot of the time staring at walls. I've done a bit of reading, I've done a bit of this, I've done some sewing, but I can't help constantly thinking, what if we'd locked down earlier? What if we'd tested and traced from the start? How is it fair that some people are out there risking their lives every day and there are other people who are still having house parties and going to visit their partners and visit their families and not follow the rules. How is it that people are still concerned about the economy over human life, you know? It's really scary. There have been now over 10,000 deaths in this country, not including care homes and people who die in their own home. And there is n currently no suggestion of an exit strategy either. I sort of fluctuate between being very angry and sad and then introspective. Um, there are a lot of things that I think we could have done sooner, we could have done better and that people are giving the government too much slack. Now is the time to say, hang on a minute, we trusted you and you made the wrong call. I think now is the time to be political because they are there to govern, serve, look after the people. 
and they were more worried about the FTSE 100. So, on that note, I'm going to pass over to future Becky. Hello, future me, how are you? I have some questions I was hoping you would be able to answer. I'm just going to fire away. Okay, firstly, and most importantly to my mind, do I catch it? Or do I know that I've caught COVID-19? Are my family okay? When do they lift the lockdown? When do I get to see Alex again? When do I get to start that job that I got just before everything started closing and they um, froze recruitment? Do I, do I not get that job anymore? Do you know at this point or is it too early to tell? Are they holding the government to account over the lack of personal protective equipment? Are they holding them to account over the, over the lack of urgency to lock down? Is Boris still the Prime Minister? Are we still referring to him as Boris? Please tell me those badges that Matt Hancock sort of bought out didn't take off the ground at all because what was the overall count? Do we know yet? How is the world? Is it markedly different? I keep imagining things that could possibly change as a result of this, good or bad. I hope good. I hope that people are more people focused rather than economy focused. Have I seen any or all of my friends yet? Has all of the access stuff that has come up to make life easier for people working from home stayed in place for disabled people? Do people seem to have realised that access is important? Have we got a vaccine yet? Or am I sleeping in my car so that I don't come in and contaminate the house? Is mum still in the flap of the garage or is she back in the house? What are border controls like? Have aeroplanes started taking off? I know that holiday companies started speculating a while ago when they would start flights again, but I just thought that was ridiculous because like, how can they know? My last question, because I have been craving these like mad and ice cream vans are not a thing at the moment, sensibly. Have I had a Mr. Whippy yet? Right, I'm gonna sign off here because um, talking to myself like this has been a bit weird, but I think it's a good thing to have recorded. Um, good to acknowledge the situation. I do spend a lot of time at home, but normally out of medical necessity, not out of governmental lockdown. This is the middle rather than the end point.